So I'm here at Metal Tech Precision in Halsham. I'm with Adrian Starkey. Now, don't forget to subscribe to our channel if you want to see more videos like this of five axis machines in action. Now, this is actually a Spinner U620, a brand new machine to the company purchased just a month or so ago. They're machining stainless 316 pump bodies and we're about to see one in action. Adrian, before we do, just give me your take on this machine since it's been here. Well, this is the first time I've actually run a Siemens, so I'll probably I'm in about a month into it, and I must say it's extremely user-friendly, so I've been a fanatic man for the last 30 years. Okay, what, what about the ergonomics of the machine and the setting of the machine from an operator's perspective? It's, it's virtually foolproof, to be quite honest with you. I mean, I think you could put anyone on here to run it. Really? You, you like the double door access, the, the point yeah, of loading? Yeah, yeah, definitely. It comes today, I mean, we had we have, we have the crane system, but to, at the moment we haven't had to use it, but we haven't done a whole range of pumps yet, so... OK, I'm sure what everyone wants to see is the machine in action. Do you want to just press cycle start and then maybe step this way with myself? So could, would you be able to just talk us through uh, what you're actually doing here? Well, we're just machining, we're machining all the skin off, basically, and it's uh, taking the pump body out of the middle, which are the rotors, and then it'll come around and do the outside and it'll do the ports. It, it, so it's basically roughing it out. Okay. It, it's an end mill that's in there, it's a 16 mil end mill. And, and, and what, what material removal are you actually doing as we speak? It's doing, it's doing in one mil cuts, and it's just getting wider and wider and wider at, in the increments of one mil. Okay, now this uh, is this a is an 30 mil cut. Um, and what's the actual cutting tool in here? It's a 16 mil MA full end mill. And will this uh, machine the whole the whole of the body? This will rough out everything, everything except the front face, which the face mill does. Right. Okay. What about the interpolation on the end ports as well? What yeah, it does that as well. So this tool now would finish this here, and it will turn around. It will do one port, then turn over and do the other port. Uh, what about what sort of surface finish do you get, and what sort of tolerances are you trying to achieve with this interpolation? Um, within O O2. Okay, now that's on that's on because you've almost got like two diameters in here, haven't you? Yeah, well, it's three because there's a middle one as well, but you only just see that middle one. Right. Talk me also through the uh, the, the work holding on here as well. You've got the, the the zero point system. What does that allow you to do, and what what's the advantage to it? Well, the way it's set up is. The, the fact that every fixture we put on there is, will have one datum and the probe will come in, it will just probe it just to double check basically and, and to check that the first stops, the bores are the right size and rather than machining apart and having to take it off and it's ruined just on the first stop. And, and so. what, how do you find the clamping forces? Does it give you, does it oh, give you oh a... Yes. We've, we've not had no movement yet, so... And, and in terms of actually getting it to clamp, there's an air line that you, you plug yeah. in? Yeah, it, it's, it's an auto clamp. It, if there's no air on it, it will lock, so you can't run it without it locking you obviously you can't run it with the airline in there so as soon as you take the airline off it, it will actually lock itself yeah, there's no. a turbo one next to it which locks it quicker right so if you're looking for real speed yeah you, use that. you just literally unplug one plug it in the other for a second and it, it turbo locks it basically now, now tell me we're cutting now the outside diameter of the body is yeah. it similar uh similar cut yeah exactly the same exactly the same you're running at about uh I think it's 2,700 speed and about 2,400 feed. So, um, and what would you say to the uh, the coolant that you're using on this? Is this something you've this you've is, ever tried to cut with? No, with this is a brand new coolant actually. Uh, this is actually only we're the first ones in this country to use it. It's uh, tell it's, us about that. It's one of the, well, it's it's been good. I must say since we've had it, it's been a. Uh, it's going to hit cycle start again yeah. here. So the the. the what, what's this? Is this from Gemtech? This call? Yeah, it, it is from Gemtech. It all, it all is, as far as I, I know. So I'm not really. I don't really know much about the coolant, to be quite honest with you. So. Okay, but as it as it's, to ask. as it stands, the the surface finish that you're getting from this. Oh yeah, it's been great. I mean, the sizes hold extremely well. I mean, we there is a stage where we actually probe the rotor bores, and not only do we probe them di diameter, we probe them top to bottom to make sure they're, they're not tapered, and they're within microns. And, and, and this was an operation you were doing before on a turning machine, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it was. Both both sides would be turned, of course. So important to stress that previously the pump body that you can see here was done in five operations. The roughing, there was two operations on the rough. Yep. Then the turning that you're seeing now, which we're actually interpolating, and then you were finishing it's as well. Finishing as well, yeah. And there, there was also a little op before that where it was flicked the back off to get it parallel. So 
So you're looking at five and a half ox, really. And the great thing is that you were responsible for the previous method as well as this one. Yep. What's the advantages do you think, other than what we see here in the machining, but what about the handling? Oh, yeah, the handling, because you're only handling it once for a start, so you've got a less opportunity to scrap a part because you've only got one operation rather than five. You've got one datum on here, and the machine works out every other datum for you when it, when it spins around and, and, and changes. So. And were you worried about going into five axis? Were you, were you thinking, oh, no, gee whiz? No, because I worked in Holland and I worked on a five axis in Holland. So I was in Holland for two years. Oh, that was a long time ago. It was 15 years ago, but it didn't, it didn't scare me. It scared me more than learning Siemens because I've never been on Siemens before. And, and is this a touch screen control? Yeah, it is touch screen. So. But fully PC based as well, I yeah, think. Yeah, yeah. So, so there we have it. It's a really interesting story here. This is a, this is a story about uh, re reducing manual handling, uh, making a part faster, uh, as, as well as the cost saving on cutting tools because yeah, two yeah. of these or one of these end mills does all the roughing and one does all the finishing, yeah. but you've done 22 parts um, using just those two tools. Yeah. Now that to me would come down to not just a tool, but the stability of the machine, the whole, the whole package. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, we've done over 50 parts with a finisher. It's the rougher we've changed twice. So the, the rough has done roughly about 22 parts, but the finisher has done a batch of 50 and it's halfway through this batch. So, If, if you were going into this uh, as a newbie, then uh, talk to White House Machine Tools because I'm sure, Adrian, you're going to give us a, a glowing reference on how they've sort of supported you and held your hand, haven't they, since oh, this has God, been it? Yeah, I must say. I mean, well, the, within a week this machine was in here, installed up and running and we was cutting metal. So. And all the all, all, all the uh, pre all the pre tests were done yeah, before all, at the White yeah. House. Yep, all the tooling it was all tooled up. It literally just come straight in. We put the tools in, probed it all up, and away we went. So. As the uh, as the uh, market becomes more and more competitive, you do need to get parts off the machine quicker. You do need less manual handling, and all that's in evidence here at Metal Tech Precision on their new uh, Spinner U620 five-axis machining centre. Thank you very much, Adrian. No problem.